Why don't we jump right into our big headline topic of the day. Benchmarks yes. have leaked for the Ryzen 7 5800X, and it looks like it could be as good or better than an Intel Core i9. Yes, my friends, AMD copying Intel's branding might have actually um, kicked them in their own butt for the first time pretty much ever. Isn't that funny, right? Like if people are at the store and they're like, oh, you know, well, oh, well, this is only whatever seven and this is nine, this nine one must be better. I mean, that was always the way that AMD did it back in the day when they first introduced PR or performance rating is I think what it was short for where Intel had a, a 2.5 gigahertz. And then I don't think Intel actually ever did a 2.5 gigahertz Pentium, whatever. But and the point is AMD would have 2,500 plus even though they ran at a lower clock speed. And that was because by AMD's uh, estimation, their 2500 plus, even though it was a lower clock speed, was equivalent in performance to a 2.5 gigahertz e equivalent oh. generation Intel. And, yeah, and that, was, that was gross. In fairness, in fairness to AMD, a lot of the time, uh, their lower clocked processors were in fact competitive with higher clocked Intel sure. ones. They were just very optimistic at times yeah. about how they applied that PR rating and the, the fact that they put a plus at the end of it. That was, that was very optimistic at, little, at times. Yeah. So now after copying Intel's positioning, very Intel's very uncreative positioning, AMD <laughs> could be the ones that are like, Oh, um, well, this is awkward. We can't call the 5,800 X a Ryzen nine when it was a, a Ryzen seven like last generation for the 3800x so i guess it's gonna have to be a ryzen 7 but this thing absolutely kicks around the 10900k so ahead of amd's october 18 uh, october 8th ryzen announcement details on their upcoming zen 3 based processors have allegedly leaked now here's a bit of a problem luke you play a lot of ashes of singularity you play a lot of that game. <laughs> is that, that what you play on Friday I, night, Saturday night? I, let's 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 see. I want to see like it's on Steam, right? Wednesday we night. This, Wednesday we night. Did, <laughs> we did this very recently with with Flight Simulator, so I want to see like Steam stats on Ashes of Singularity. Sure. So while you're while you're pulling that up, uh, according to an Ashes of the Singularity benchmark discovered by API Apisac, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce that. AMD is skipping the 4000 series for their desktop CPU names. This makes a ton of sense. I, I'm not going to say I love this move because I hated the move that they made in the first place, putting them out of sync for mobile and desktop. But I appreciate this move because it makes it much easier for consumers to know what they're getting. So mobile is obviously going to have to get a new series because they already call Zen 2 uh, Ryzen 4000. So then if mobile has to be 5,000, then desktop should be 5,000 too, so that we know architecturally what kind of product we're buying. So 5,000 series looks like it's gonna be Zen 3. As for the benchmarks themselves, they're no longer available on the Ashes website, but when they were there, they revealed that an eight core Ryzen 7 5800X would be superior in terms of CPU performance and roughly comparable in terms of GPU performance to the Core i9 10900K. And there's actually a graph. <laughs> there's a graph here posted by Ponson on the Twitter. So red or orange or whatever color that is, is the 5800X. And then we've got blue is a 10900K and a 3800X is in yellow. So that is a massive, massive intergenerational performance improvement all right but uh this is a very popular game though right luke how, how popular is it so on twitch there is no one streaming it and the last stream was about a month ago no one roughly. uh and that's gotta be a glitch and on steam charts the last 24 hour peak was actually higher than i expected at 83 players wow 83 players so then that's basically the 20 or so tech reviewers that might have been using it as a synthetic benchmark right basically and 60 whole people all dozens of us playing <laughs> ashes of the singularity that is just fantastic um separate leaked benchmarks placed the ryzen 9 5900x so this would be the 12 core running with a boost clock of 5 gigahertz at a mere 150 watt tdp 
Uh, wait, mirror. Wow, that's ooh, that's a lot. It seems like AMD's pushing hard. But if they got to 5 gigahertz, that's going to be pretty impressive. That has eluded AMD since the launch of Ryzen. And uh, was, uh, there's no way it's all cores, but uh, that's very fast. One, one sec. If it, what, what happened uh, on the week of Monday, April the 27th? Monday, April the 27th. The week of Monday the 27th. So, like... From that Monday forward, what happened that week? Because if you go, if you go on Steam stats, Steam charts, and you look at Ashes of Singularity, they have steadily declining players for the last year, from 200 down to like 83, whatever I did for the last 24-hour peak. But they do it by week, and for the week of Monday, April the 27th. Uh, what year? In 2019. 2020. 2020. It spikes from 160 players the week before to 3,758. Weird. And then immediately back down to 340 the week after that, 184 the week after that. Uh, like it slams up and then completely drops down. What big tech news was there that week? I have no idea, actually. I, I, do, not, I do not recall uh, anything in particular happening that week. Um, well, it looks like, okay, sorry. They say week from but it looks like they're doing it monthly so i don't so did something happen in i have no idea what happened in april early so was there something that happened in may intel cpus launch ah uh, i don't remember but like why ashes all over the place hold on there's a few more things i want to wrap up with here sure so aside from the core count and clock speed rumors zen 3 is also expected to feature significant ipc improvements so that's performance per clock and we're thinking about 15 percent compared to zen 2. so theoretically with both a clock speed and ipc improvement ryzen 5000 series could be well ahead of comet lake AMD previously stated they'll be using an evolution of TSMC's 7 nanometer process. Um, they have not actually named it directly. Uh, the enhanced N7P process, which boasts a 7%-ish performance improvement over N7, seems like the best fit after AMD clarified that their 7 nanometer plus nomenclature did not mean a more sophisticated EUV-based N7 plus process, which claims a 10% improvement. So, dang. But can I, can I go tinfoil hat here for a second? Can I go tinfoil hat? Absolutely. And like, Please do. I don't actually think this is necessary. I don't think this is true. There. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to put it out there as something that I don't think is true, but it is just extremely fishy. Even reviewers don't use Ashes of the Singularity anymore. Yeah, could, not really. Could this be an AMD cherry picked scenario that they accidentally leaked? It's, uh, it's, yeah, I would give that a, a, a pretty high chance of being a thing. Like, Ashes of the Singularity is such a, a like, a non-factor, even for most reviewers at this point. I have still seen it in presentations from manufacturers where it seems like they don't read the same, you know, uh, news that we do out in the media or maybe they're just not paying as close attention or maybe it's like a licensing thing like they have a harder time licensing games for use for like official presentations i know that that can be a thing like i remember um there was an intel laptop running um uh, xe graphics a little while back at like uh, some trade show i think it was like very early xe graphics at the last ces and i was like hey i don't i don't want to play counter-strike i want to play like at the time what was cool at the time fortnite or whatever like i want to play this and they're like sure uh I, I don't remember who it was so i'm not accusing anyone in particular but some popular battle royale game and they were like yeah we we tried we know but they they wouldn't allow us to do it i'm like you got to be kidding me that's basically marketing for their product that's 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 you intel the gigantic multinational multi-billion dollar organization acknowledging their game as like the hotness right now why why would you expect to be paid for that are you insane so it could just be that ashes of singularity is a, a popular one for companies to use because it's like 
it has a very wide range of technology support, you know, DirectX 12, SLI, things that real games, for whatever reason, can't implement, but this one can. And uh, and I guess they're they're real Might cooperative about, about yeah. using it. Um, yeah. so, so that's my guess, is whether accidentally or on purpose, I think this came straight from AMD. There. You know what? No, I, I do think it. I don't think it happened on purpose. I think it was probably an accident because they were probably using it internally to create the decks for the presentation for the launch of Zen 3. I'm on, I'm on board with your previous opinion to a certain degree because we, we've seen this a lot over the last few years. Like these, these totally not intentional leaks that come from companies. Like it's, it's been happening a ton. So I like, yeah, may, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but I wouldn't be surprised at all. If it, if it was an intentional leak. It's also really hard to keep things under wraps. Like, I mean, you saw the whole thing with, uh, what was it? Um, uh, was it, I think it was uh, Tesla that had like a literal spy like yeah. try yeah. to steal and try to steal uh, <clears throat> data from their company. Like, like this is a thing when you're, when you have, you know, something like a new iPhone the week before it launched, like, I would not be surprised if you could get tens of thousands of dollars for it from some publication that wants to to break the news of what the new iPhone looks like early or whatever the case may be. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think we got to the bottom of the Ashley Singularity thing. I can't find, like, actual proof of this, but it seems like it was included in a Humble Bundle and then everyone immediately quit playing. <laughs> oh. Ouch. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> <laughs> At least they started playing it, which for humble bundles is is probably a, yeah, a pretty good thing. That's pretty good. Know? That's pretty yeah. good.